Before we get started with episode number 12 of Duel Night, guys, if you guys want to help support the show, make sure you guys check out the Patreon in the link down below. We have exclusive draft lists on there for you guys to check out every single episode. And most importantly, the Ultimate Losers Match, where you guys get to check out some extra Duel Night duels. We play best two out of three. We have a bunch of behind the scene footage, exclusive in-deck deck profiles and strategies behind each and every single draft. Guys, what are you waiting for? Check out the Patreon down below. And for those of you who support us on Patreon, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the reason why the show is afloat. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's just start with episode 12 of Duel Night. Let's begin. Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. Starting chronologically from the very first booster set, each player gets the draft from the deck box containing three of every card from the current set. It goes like this. The booster set for each episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals, battling for the title of champion. The victor gets the spin from the magical wheel, allowing them to pick a card from the deck box on the following episode. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Night. Let's begin. Welcome to episode number 12 of Duel Night. You guys already know we cannot start a Duel Night episode without a set introduction. Today on episode 12, we're diving straight into Ancient Sanctuary. Guys, we have something very special for you guys today in this draft. Without further ado, let's dive straight into Ancient Sanctuary and a little history on what this set is all about. Let's begin. Ancient Sanctuary was released back on June 1st, 2004. This set focuses mainly on fairy type monsters, including the agent monsters, which have powerful effects when the card The Sanctuary in the Sky is in play. Highly sought after cards in this set include the Agent of Creation, Venus, the End of Anubis, Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch, Monster Gate, and last but not least, Enemy Controller, a quick play spell that allows you to change a monster your opponent controls to defense position or to tribute a monster to take control of one of your opponent's monsters. Pro tip number one, the Agent of Creation Venus allows you to special summon up to three mystical shine balls directly from your hand or deck. This card helps chaos strategies since it gets you access to light monsters much faster. So combining light and dark strategies alongside Venus makes chaos decks really powerful. So that's pretty much it for a little history behind Ancient Sanctuary. Without further ado, let's begin. Guys, it's so good to be back here on Duel Night last week on the New Year's special episode. Your boy got destroyed by Triff. Well, speaking of Triff, I just let you guys know that today we have a different cast. As you guys can see, we got my brother here, Sue, which is the easiest person to beat. <laughs> we got Gabe, washed up national champion. <laughs> and we got Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. But anyways, Triff, Denzel, and Milano. The vid got him. Guys, the vid got them. Steven! What's good? Steven, what happened? Tell, tell everybody. I got COVID, bro. Are you okay? I'm good. COVID caught me. COVID, COVID caught me. COVID got you. Once I defeat this COVID, COVID worldwide will cease to beat. Okay, Triff. Oh, my body already destroyed it. I had it for one day. Okay, Triff. I know there's a lot of uh, Triff stands out there right now. What do you have to say for them? I tell them, get this shirt. Who's gonna win this episode? Who do you wanna win? This episode? My money's on Sue. You want Sue to win? Sue's gonna win. How about me? I I think you'll come second. I think it's gonna be a brother versus brother final. Okay, alright, Steven. Thanks so much. I mean, we missed you, bro. Everybody misses you. 
I miss all you guys. All right, be safe, bro. All right, you guys be safe too. Later. All right, later, guys. So, guys, wish Triff, Denzel, Milano all the best in the comment section below. And, guys, please make sure you guys are staying safe out there. Wash your hands and then just be safe. You know what I'm saying? Just, just be safe. Hey, guys, Jesse back here again, ready for another Dawn Light episode. Super happy to be back. Um, from now on, Sam approached me and is asking me to be the creative director behind the actual draft list for each episode. So, with each episode coming, we ran into a problem. All these future sets kind of suck for the next like couple dozen. So what we're gonna try and do is control the level of the power cards in the cube. That way the new cards always seem the most viable. Uh, and we're not always just playing a go control type deck every single week for the entirety of 2000, uh, 2022. The entire draft list is on Patreon if you wanna go check out what I'm up to. One of the cool things I'm gonna be putting into this draft that I'm hoping one of us get to use is I put in the Thousand Eyes Restrict and Relinquish cards again, but this time with King of the Swamp and Fusion Gate, you can also play some fusion strategies. Unlike last week, the players know what's in the draft ahead of time, so no one's caught super off guard and it's gonna be fair for everyone still. I put in some cool stuff for this draft and I'll keep it fresh and exciting every single week, so make sure to keep up, guys. But back to business. I think the first episode of the second episode I came on, I said I wanted to have a YCS topping record. That's nine and two or better. Currently, I am 7-2, meaning I cannot lose any more matches. But if I win today, I will have that YCS topping record. And meaning if I win five more from then on, I can be a YCS Dual Knight champion. So, you know what has to be done. All right, guys, since I was the winner of Invasion of Chaos, I guess spin the wheel. From Ancient Sanctuary, I think as long as I don't get a trap card, I'm happy. Spell card. I have to have some fun. Monster Gate would be my choice. Hey guys, it's good to be back on Duel Nights. I'm lost, very badly last time to Gravity Bind, but I studied today, I prepared, and I'm gonna win today. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Gabriel Vargas. I have the YouTube channel Gabriel Zombie. And fun fact, I actually am the editor for the Patreon, so the Loser's Duel over there is really fun. You should definitely check it out in the link below. And hopefully I don't end up on there myself because I don't want to edit myself losing again. But I studied for this set. Ancient Sanctuary is pretty cool and I am prepared. Today is going to be a victory for me. And guys, I know I said this last time, but this time I'm going to show you what a national champion can really do. I went to Worlds with Jesse twice actually, but at the end of the day, he'll never be a national champion. What's up guys? I'm back, my second episode on Duel Night. I'm super duper excited. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Soom. I'm Sam's younger brother. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! And I love being on Duel Night because it just gives me that nostalgic feeling of playing again, drafting, and you know what? My goal here is to win. I'm super duper excited. Woo! All right, guys, welcome to episode number 12 of Duel Night. Today we got Gabe. Gabe, Hello. how are you? Good, I'm ready. Ready? I studied, I studied this time. You studied this time? I'm prepared. Okay, and Soom, are you ready? Exactly like Gabe, I studied the first time I was here. I didn't study, but now I'm ready. So just let you know, we got two champions in front of us right here. I know, I'm honored. 10 I'm times honored. YCS champion. Wow. National champion and YCS champion. And I'm, Crazy. And I'm, yeah, I, we, yeah. we went to Worlds together twice too. Me too, I went to Worlds too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a guardian right here. It's, it's a guardian, baby. So, so, so basically, we, we're, we're bums. We suck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Jesse is the one that creates all the drafts from now on, moving on every episode. Jesse. What is this draft looking like? Can you, can you give the, the viewers a scoop? Like, what is it? Um, so we had Anx and Sanctuary cards, and we've taken out some of the stronger monsters that would have had us playing the same decks over and over again to kind of push us towards playing some of the newer archetypes that are viable with Ancient Sanctuary. That's awesome. Guys, I'm excited for this draft. All right, guys, you guys ready? Let's yes, go. Sir. You guys ready? Jesse, you ready? Yeah. Zoom. Ready. Jay? Ready. All right, let's go. Without further ado, let the draft begin. I'm actually really happy Soom, with the first card. Soom I got. already picked Polygreed. I already knew. Uh, I my apologies on any good spells. Yeah, mine's so garbage. Good. Yeah, yeah. Like, Soom already picked Polygreed. Is it, is it a good strategy to see, like, the cards in the pile? Just to, like, know the different cards in it? No, you can't look at someone else's pile. Oh, yours. Oh, it's my pile. Yeah, yeah yours. It's my pile. Guys, I'm going to be honest. This pile is insane. It is insane. My oh. pile is actually insane. Oh, my God. Yeah. This pile is nuts. This pile is nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. I think it's actually All right. nuts. Oh, my God. He took the graceful. Oh my goodness. Wait, can I tell you what I, what I took first yeah, though? Yeah, go ahead. Show you, you want. Yeah, I do. I took BLS. You took Grace oh, You passed no. to the graceful. No. You passed to the graceful. No, where's the graceful? Wait. Is there graceful, graceful in there? Oh no, maybe there's just another graceful. No, there's graceful. No, I don't have graceful. There is graceful in there. Am I blind? 
There's grace okay, just don't, don't, don't tell them. Just be quiet. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll miss it. <laughs> Maybe I'll miss Maybe it. I'll miss Wait. It. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're lucky. Nice little graceful charity got you're, passed around to you're, me. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. It. So so we want Jesse to lose. Is, 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 is that the vibe? Uh, no, we, I want to win. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that makes sense. Okay. Jesse, how does it feel to lose in Denzel last week? Can you tell us experience? <laughs> Can you just tell us how it went? Uh, I don't mind losing Denzel, but the time was that really gives me nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Time wizard? And time wizard in for game. Are you serious? He blew up his entire board for time wizard. He top, like, like, he top deck. Guys, you guys haven't watched the last episode? You guys gonna watch it. Oh, like he, he drew a time wizard and then rolled top dice? Like he had no cards in hand. He top deck one hard time wizard and he blew up his <laughs> blue eyes. Board. It was pretty insane. You know what? Now thinking about it, maybe I should take a pot of greed first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the best card in the best my, card. My pa had pot of greed. Graceful. Graceful. Yes. And BLS. You probably have so many other good cards, you should let BLS come back. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, but he, Oh, you're right. Because if I took because there were so many other good cards, if the pile had no other good cards, you're right. Low chance of coming back, but it's a calculated risk. See, yeah. I don't have that mentality yet. Yeah. But you know what, Jesse? You're right. Because maybe if I took part of greed, he would take graceful, and then and then maybe there, there were so good. many other good cards. So many good cards. There was heavy storm in there, monster one. Yes, there's heavy yeah, storm. Yeah, I got heavy storm, which wow. is still really good. Like, That's amazing. Yeah, it, wow. it is the fourth best card in there, like for sure. I didn't yeah. even see Imperial Order. No. Jesse's not even a national champion. Gabe, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to have some humility here, but if you want me to put you in your place, I will. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know me. Yo, Gabe, you yeah. went to World twice in a row, right? Yeah. And he went three times in a row. Well, yeah. Ah. So what do you mean, well? Yeah. Was there some, some like caveat there? No. I mean, you were, you've been in the scene longer. I'm catching up. <laughs> you've been in the scene longer. Well, I guess catching up. Haven't I extended the lead? A little bit. At some point, I had like six more tops than you knew. Now, now, well, now what's the, the gap? What are you at? 23. Question is how wow. much top I just really hit double have. digits, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Question is how much top do you really have? <laughs> Bro, nervous. top to my first YCS top, you know what happened? What happened? Top 32. Yeah. You know what I did? I was so nervous, I was shopping my hand and I dropped my entire hand. And you got disqualified? No. Uh, my point was like, oh, you have oh. blah, 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 blah. Thanks. <laughs> You're nervous, eh? I was like, this? And I just dropped my entire hand. Oh. And I lost. Just be calm. Minutes. You gotta be calm. Yeah. I was so scared. Jesse's so calm, eh? Yeah. Jesse's like, there's nothing to him. <laughs> he's like, yeah, and it's not, right? I've been like, like, I want to be more tense. <laughs> like, yeah. And you guys have been here. I, I, was here one week, I was here once, and I got clapped up in the first round. I'm not trying to, you know, do it again. You're right. You know, yeah, it's embarrassing, eh? Like, the world is watching, eh? Yeah. Okay, okay our question. What, is your, what are your favorite decks? Like, what is your deck? Like, your signature? Uh, Thunder Dragon and Burning, I guess, then. Thunder Dragon and Burning? Goki. So we just finished the draft that took over an hour. Yeah. Oh my God, so guys. Long. It was super duper long. It's Gabe's fault. It's Gabe's fault. No, it wasn't. It was definitely Sam. No. Sam was scrambling. No. He he looked at it and he's like, bro, I'm just missing everything. And then all of a sudden he's crying about how his deck's not complete. <laughs> yeah, guys. Anyways, I have my deck ready. Jesse, how are you feeling? Eh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Gabe, how are you? I'm feeling nice. Okay, super. super nice. I'm feeling nice too. Got everything I wanted. And um, yeah. I'm feeling good. How about you? Uh, I'm feeling a little bit, you know? Honestly, I like me with the draft. There's a lot of cool new decks in there, so props to you, bro. I hope it's good. Okay, anyways, guys, let's see who we're facing. So under here is two Pot of Greeds and two Dark Magician Girls. Whoever picks the one gets to face each other. You guys ready? All right. Ready, set. Oh, ready? Three, three, two, one. Jesse again! Oh, Gabe! Oh my gosh! It's time it's to duel. duel! Facing Sam again. I Every single duel night, except last one, I, I still haven't lost to him in duel night, so... Uh, you guys will know what happens, it's easy. Jesse! Jesse! Honestly, I would love to face Jesse in the finals because I feel like my performance in the finals do a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? But Jesse in the semifinals, oh, man, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him, okay? I just don't, don't matter. Jesse, bring it on. Interesting. So I'm facing Gabe in the first round. You know what? I've never ever dueled Gabe. I've never even met Gabe, but I hear from Sam that he's a pretty good duelist. He went to Worlds or something like that. Doesn't matter. I've been to better. I've been to locals. I've won some Dragon Duel stuff. I'm beating Gabe. So Gabe, I'm coming at you with all I got. Zoom? Dude, Sam, does he play Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, I don't think so. I don't think so. I got a buy round one. This is gonna be easy clap to the final. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just finished drafting. I think I have, 
honestly, I can't even have the best deck in the room, guys. My deck is the best deck ever! Here is my deck list. All right, guys, I can't even hold a straight face right now. <laughs> you know why? My deck is simply called, Hey, Georgie. Hey, Georgie. Wanna play, Georgie? My deck is super duper simple. Clown control. All right, guys, just a clown with a dream, baby. My best card on my deck, dream clown. This card right here may look small, all right? But I know it's stronger than Triff. 1200 attack, down in defense, has amazing ability. If it's switched to defense position, destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field. It's a mandatory effect. So once I get it up on the field with a bunch of floodgates, you guys see my deck, it's like level limit area B. All of the four higher monsters are changed to defense. I summon, of course, Dream Clown, switch to defense, pop monsters every single time. And I poke my opponent slowly, doing little jabs here and there. I got a bunch of cool cards that helps to get into my Dream Clown. You got Giant Rats, gets some Dream Clown. Giant Rats also gets into Exile Force. If I need to get that one-on-one -on -one spot removal, Exile Force takes care of that. More Spear Reapers would have been a little bit better, but hey, I wanted to have a variety of good gold cards in my deck to help with my clown control strategy. That's pretty much it for my deck list. And just to highlight, I got a cool Zaborg in my deck. Zaborg's pretty, pretty cool. It's a monarch. First monarch ever introduced, baby. Zaborg. Z Z Z Z Lightning. Z Z Z Z you know what I'm saying? Guys, I finally got the draft of Pot of Greed this time. Pretty awesome. I got Magician of Faith. Magician of Faith, flip. Pot of Greed back in my hand. Book of Moon. Add back Pot of Greed. Book of Moon. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of crazy strategies there. And we got Zero Gravity. Changes everything to defense. Triggers off. The dream clown. Just a clown in a dream, baby. This is my deck list, clown control, and I'm going to take it home today. All right, so we just finished the draft, and I noticed something cool last time we drafted. None of them went for any of the demock related cards. And with Monster Gate coming out in Ancient Sanctuary, I built my deck around it. Here's the deck list. This deck is called Demock Turbo. That stands for Dark Magician of Chaos one of the most powerful monsters to ever be printed, it, it's often not the main focus in the game because it's overshadowed by Chaos Emperor Dragon and Black Luster Soldier. The Dark Mission of Chaos back then used to say, when it's summoned, it adds any spell from your graveyard to your hand. And it also banishes any monster it destroys by battle, but it gets banished afterwards. So it's Magician of Faith type effect with a 2800 attack stat line makes it a very formidable monster. So I, I built my deck around it using cards like a Hero Emerges, Monster Gate, and Reasoning to all summon it way easier than usual. Now, Monster Gate and Reasoning are random. They require me to flip the top cards of my deck until I hit a monster. Because it's random, I need to make sure the cards in my deck are all good targets to summon up it. It warps my entire deck building process. My other big strategies are Blowback Dragon, another new card from Ancient Sanctuary. Blowback Dragon is a let card that lets me destroy cards once per turn if I call or if I flip two heads out of three, which is pretty nice removal, and 2300 attack is nice too. I also have Air Knight Parshath, good old Parshath. Used them last week to beat Milano, and I'll use them again to win this time. So something to note is that all those big monsters have different levels. This is because reasoning requires my opponent to select a level, and if they guess the right level, and that's the monster I hit, I don't get to summon it. So I want to have a diverse like profile of monsters. That way I can make sure I'm hitting my monster and actually summoning it more often than going to the grave. Now people that know what they're doing should be calling eight because Dark Mission of Chaos is an entire power level above the others, but the others are still very strong to summon off one spell card. All right, so that's my deck list. Time to top this Dual Knight YCS. All right, guys, so I just finished drafting my deck. Honestly, I got everything that I wanted. You know what, I had a strategy going in. Um, I learned from last episode that, you know, I gotta be prepared for more spells and traps. So everything that I got today is exactly what I wanted. So of course, cannot be more proud. I think I have a pretty good deck and probably the best deck in this draft. Here is my deck list. My deck is called Vanilla Chaos. If you look at the deck list, you can tell there are a bunch of dark monsters, a bunch of light monsters, and of course, I run around my big boss monsters of BLS, Chaos Emperor Dragon, and my Chaos Sorcerers. Of course, my MVP, my go-to, is Venus. Of course, with Venus, 1600, level three monster. I can pay 500, and with that being said, summon three mystical shine balls. So of course, that is my strategy. Bring out my light monsters, bring out my dark monsters, and then from there, of course, bring out my big time boss monsters. 
During the draft, I wanted to make sure I had so many outs to spells and traps, so I went for the three mystical space typhoons, the MSTs, because I know there are a lot of continuous spells and traps that Sam loves to play. I know Jesse and Gabe definitely took, you know, a bunch of those kind of cards, so I had to make sure there were outs to anything. So three MSTs, and I also went for, you know, cards that contribute my normal monsters to out their monsters and spells and traps. So of course, my vanilla chaos deck can do it all, and it's game once my strategy gets activated. In my deck, I have two very special spells and traps cards. One is called Order to Charge, that's a spell, and then Order to Smash, that's a trap. So of course, with Order to Charge, I can tribute one of my normal monsters, Shine Balls, my Archfiend Soldiers, my Octoclops, to of course target a monster on the field and destroy it. That's my monster out. But then for the trap of Order to Smash, it's basically an Icarus attack. If I have a Mystic Shine Ball, I can tribute the Mystic Shine Ball, sacrifice that and destroy two spell traps on the field. Of course, those are my very special cards and I want to draw them as fast and soon as possible. All right, guys, that was my deck list. Hopefully you guys like my deck and approve of it. Let's go win. All right, the draft is done. My studying has paid off. My deck is absolutely insane. Here is my deck list. My deck is Beasts of Safe Return. So you guys might be wondering what my deck does, and it's quite simple. I summon beasts, they float with Manticore of Darkness, and if I have card of safe return, I just keep on drawing as I loot Manticore of Darkness, and it gets out of hand really quickly if I draw the right cards. So this deck actually has an FDK in the sense of an infinite loop between two Manticore of Darknesses. So how I can set that up is by having card of safe return and Painful Choice or a Discard Outlet plus Manticore of Darkness. So basically just ways to get Manticore of Darknesses in the graveyard. I can then start looping them by sending one from the field or hand to the graveyard in the end phase, summoning Manticore of Darkness to the field, drawing one card, and then looping them continuously to draw as many cards as I want to fix my hand and basically perfect my hand for the current setup. I also have cards like Berserk Gorilla and Mad Dog, which when paired up with my three of skill drain, it just becomes absurdly hard to deal with and I can apply some real pressure really fast. So my deck has draw power, it has big monsters, and it has floodgates. I win. This Duel Knight is mine. Jesse! Samuel! Okay, we're playing each other. First round, like again, so many times. Honestly, I wanted to face Sum or Gabe, because those guys are a little bit easier than you. Yeah, you know freshen, I mean? freshen like, up yeah, a little freshen, as well. Like, yeah. Whoa! What? Easier? Yeah, of course. Okay. Anyways, Jesse, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five! Take a number. Oh, geez, my bad. Four. All right, good luck, Jesse. I'll be going first. Come on, girls. All right. Oops. Man! Man! Dude, you do this every time you play anybody. Man! Stop. Man! Oh, my God, I don't want to hear it, Sam. <sighs> Look at my hand, yeah. Man! I break. Dude, you're gonna go, sir, activate floodgates, normal summon monkey, or you think? Oh, I break. Normal summon dream clown! <laughs> it's not a monkey, but <laughs> you are a clown. So. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the, no. clown, the clown is a monkey. Ooh, is that what you said? I'm just gonna go activate level limit area B. Oh, boy. Uh, change all level four or higher monsters to defense position. Yeah. That's not level four. I'm just kidding. Okay. Dream Clown, you know what it does? Dream yes. Clown has an amazing effect. If I can switch it to defense and it pops a card. Pops a monster. I'm just gonna set uh, one card face down and my turn. Guys, right here I have a set of a Dream Clown and level limit area B. As long as this Dream Clown stays on the field, I basically win the entire duel. Drop turn? Reasoning? No. In phase one? Yeah. I like the reasoning. Oh, shoot, dude. What are you calling, buddy? Eight. Oh. Yes! Oh! <laughs> okay, the second reasoning. So, what it does is, I mean, I guess you know, but for the viewers, yeah, he declares a level and activate cards from the top of my deck until I a monster that can be summoned. Yep. If it's level he declared, it goes to the grave. If not, special summon it. So let's try it again. Eight. Blowback dragon. Wow. Why this is on the top? Okay, what is blowback? Uh, are you calling my priority? Yes, priority, and I'm gonna be targeting. What's his effect? The 
green clown. Once per turn, you can target one card your opponent controls, toss a coin three times, so I'll try to give at least two of the results are heads. Oh. So, so, it, you, so you call priority to activate. Here is the app. Congratulations. You're gonna go to tools. Cool, you can toss the coin three times. First coin toss. Heads. Heads. Second coin toss. Heads. <laughs> okay, so Dream Clown is dead. Unfortunate. Low back dragon. <laughs> Double heads. This is this is this is bad, guys. The reason why this is so bad is because Dream Clown takes a, a couple turns to set up, and if it's set up properly, I win. But it's blowback dragon. This is Bandit Keith looking card right here. Double heads, Neuron! What's going on? <laughs> Yo, guys, go to the App Store and download Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron. I approve. I'll set a card face down. Yep, escape it. I will end my turn. Cool. Draw a turn. Mm-hmm. Demon, Demon. Sure. Fight Demon. Yeah. Fight Monster Reborn. Yep. Yep. All right, guys, so I just activated Monster Reborn and Slam Back Dark Witch into Chaos. The reason why I did this is because, number one, it gets me an extra monster on the field, and Demok, once his special summon, gets to add back a spell card from my graveyard. At this point, since I activated Monster Reborn on Dark Witch into Chaos, it comes out, then activates its effect at the Monster Reborn back from my graveyard to my hand, so I can easily bring out the Dream Clown once again. Like I said, guys, just a clown in a dream, baby. Here we go. I am going to set one card face down, and I'm going to end my turn. Well, I can't. I can't attack, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Level yeah. Go. Drop the chip. Hands. Chip the shoot. Sure, dude. I don't want these in my hand anyway. Ooh. Uh, you can put back the blowback dragon. Yeah, I figured his monster yeah. card is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Demox at three, right? Still. Yes. So at three, okay. Cool. And he's at three for two more sets. Sure. Cut your deck. That's fine. Yep, once again. Um, no, actually, it's a bit dark read. Draw her. Sure. Uh, so you have how many in hand? Three. I'll say blow back dragon targeting your face down. Uh, targeting my face down. That's fine. Heads. Heads. <sighs> Honestly, guys, I don't know what type of Doctor Strange magic Jesse Cotton is on, but he's been hitting heads every single time with his blowback. I don't know if it's the app's problem. We need to get a real coin. Hey, Milo, director, can you, can you give us a coin? Only heads for me. Let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I realized immediately oh. after I said that. So lucky. <laughs> um... I will send another card face down. Uh, I was already greeted, so I have four in hand again. Okay, so you have two Monster Gate, one Blowback. No, no, you have uh, Demok. Oh, yeah. And you have Demok and one Unknown. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah, your turn. Sure. Zero. Set one. I'm going to set this card face down. And I'm going to activate Monster Gate. Targeting the Dream Clown. Sure. That's in my graveyard. A dream Clown in attack position. Yep. And I'll end my turn. Drop the turn? Yep. Main phase one? Yep. I have to blowback dragon. Dragon machine clown? Yep. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see where it goes. All right. Heads? This app is rigged, bro. If it's heads, it's rigged. Heads. This app is actually rigged. Is it actually a rigged app or what? <laughs> you never got a single phone. tails. <laughs> you, you, you never got in a single tails. I'm just letting you know that. I'm just letting you know. You, you must feel nice. I'm well aware. You just feel nice about yourself. Eh? I do feel nice. This is pretty wow. funny, dude. Wow. All right. Wow. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. At this point, like, I got. My hand is so bad outside of this that I kind of uh, like, need like this. Like you're literally just winning with blowback. You just, you just, well, yeah, I know. I can't. You're just gonna else. blow back the clown or what? <laughs> blowing the clown all day. Blow, yep. You keep blowing back the clown. Okay. Yep, okay. <laughs> All right, well, my jar agreed, you jar agreed, so I'll draw another card. You're so bad. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Man. Set a card face down. Yep. Set a card face down. Yep. 
Um, your turn. Draw. Wow. I pass. Draw. Yep. Um, main phase one? Yep. What is that monster? Is it just a... What is it like? Play a giant rat? Play Sangans? You would have flipped the Deslacuda. Um, I'll just... It's back target your face down. Sure. <laughs> Come on! At least show me a tails! Heads? Heads! Bro! <laughs> this is not real. Heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yo, can I, yo, can I get a coin? Like, <laughs> like, give me a coin. No, 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 like, bro, no, not even, no, 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 no. no, no. This, this, is not, this is this is an AI, bro. This is this is a cheating AI. There's so nothing more fair than not even, that. You're blowing Sans back up. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. He, wow. You're blowing my back. You're blowing back my my my. No, my no, no, no. I'm right doing now. a coin, coin, no coin. This is good. No, 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 no. We're doing a we're doing a flip. We're doing an old school style, baby. This is a rigged, bro. I haven't even got a single tails. I know. Wait, and he's in yo, bro. Yeah. This is sanctioned by Konami. We we using this. Bro, no, 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 bro. He. Yo, he had look, to look. Let, Let's see if we can get a Tails off it. I'll eventually get a Tails. Look. See, Tails. Right no. there. Right there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No. Okay, fine. Whatever. Sam, I'm just not good. Excuse me. We're going the classic way, yeah, baby. We did it once and it hit yeah. Tails. We're going, we're going the classic way. This is this is, this is is random, too. No, no. We're using that. No, no. This, this is, is less random because it's harder no, to no, control. No, 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 no. We're using that. No, we're not. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we're not. Just, just beat him, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not. No, we're not. Continue. There we are. Dude, my hand is so bad. I need no, it. No, my hand is terrible. I'm not even playing. Go! Not your mind! Yo, it's random still. This Go. is your fault. May I add? Go! <laughs> Go! Continue! Man. I can't do anything. Low back is so good. Bro, there should be a downside for this. If it's wrong, he just destroys itself. Wait, I mean, how is this even here? That's not supposed to be there. That was a monster, by the way. I can... uh, uh, okay, sure, sorry. So it's fine. It's, it's supposed to be this. Okay, but, but okay. I mean, like honestly, it doesn't matter. Sure. But like, it was, this is a monster. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Did you? I <laughs> said the demon in the back room. I'm sick. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can go past here. God. Go. Doctor. Why, well, Jesse, why are you stressed? Oh, because I can't kill this without like just losing everything else. Um, or will the 8,000? Yeah. <laughs> like, none of us can attack. <laughs> so silly. Hey, my, yo, my deck does one thing, one thing only. I just haven't seen him yet. And you kept blowing him back out. <laughs> you kept blowing his back out. I'll target this with Blowback Dragon. Yeah, flip. I'll call a judge. No, no judge. Calling a judge. Why? Why do you why? Get to decide? Bro, you've been flipping with this the entire time, so now I it's my turn. We agree to that. No, no, no. No, no. Let's, no, no, let's it. call. Let's call a coin. No, guys, yo, it says flip a coin. This is an actual coin. And that's the, the Konami sanctioned coin. That's the Konami sanctioned app. Hey, uh, Judge Coder, if you're watching this video, I just like to say, um, do we need to use the Neuron app, or we can just toss a coin? The card says toss a coin. The app is probably kind of. It's not, it's, the AI is probably not updated, right? It's, he keeps getting heads. It's rigged. <laughs> it's not Flip it. <laughs> go, go. Go. Magic powers. Oops. Oh, what'd I do? Oh, I ruined it. <laughs> go. Heads. <laughs> Tails. Heads. Heads again! Heads, heads, heads! I never get this many heads! I got a tails at least. Oh, is this, what the hell is this then? Say it. Yeah. Sangan <sighs> searches my exile force. I finally get to out this rigged blowback dragon. Time to blow blowback dragons back out so fast that blowback will never blow out me ever again. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> exile force. I guess that makes sense. Um, damn, the next level force is annoying. Your turn. It's the next up? Yeah. Party? Yeah. Destroy. Destroy. So this card, and your turn. Draw. This is the ultimate stalling match. 
to the full limit. And I'll snatch the demon. Sure. And I'll monster gate demon. Sure. It's banished, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll call. Yeah. They don't call for monster. Yeah. Go. So this is the same as reasoning. I hit a mill until I hit a monster. I can summon and I get summoned. But because it tributes a monster to activate, I uh, do not. He does not get to declare. Just turn up the first one. Screw <laughs> that card. Yep. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> Blow back. Blow back's back. <laughs> I'll target the monster. Sure. <sighs> Heads. 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 Bro, he never, bro, every time he, he resolved this, I'm just letting you know, this app is actually rigged. You, and you only got one tails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Triff Math, he showed you how to use a fairy box. Didn't work very well. Let me show you what Jesse Math is. Blowback effects. Heads again. Heads, heads, heads. I never get this many heads. Success probability, 100%. <laughs> okay, so right, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Nope. Let's go. I can't do anything else, man. Do you know that beats 1200? <laughs> you don't want two to play at that game. <laughs> Pass. Two can play at that game, baby. Go. You have so many cards in your hand. Okay, that card does something. Uh, effect target that. Sorry, main phase one, effect target that. Sure. Yeah, there should be a downside. Heads. Tails. Tails. Yes! Yes! Probably the least important one so far, but... We needed that. <laughs> sure. Kill order. Yeah, I don't know how, but... Attack for 23. Yep. Finally, we dealt damage. Turn 1 million. Yeah. Okay, so something you guys will notice is I can't do anything under level 11 area B, but he also can't do anything to my blowback dragon while level 11 area B is on the field. It's clear he doesn't have his Dream Clown combo set up, and his only monster that would be able to attack over this is something like a giant rat. So actually, this level one area B is hurting him as much as me. So if I can get my plus one with the blowback dragon, killing other cards, I'm more than happy doing that rather until I have enough steam to kill him in one big push. No yeah. God damn it. Go. <laughs> damn this. Go. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Go, bro. Um. How many blowbacks you play? You probably, you probably three. Play, I play three. Play three blowbacks? Okay. I mean, it's like really good. I think it's one of the best tribute summons right now because you can't suke it. Yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. problem. It's just so good, eh? Just Kevin's call heads all the time. <laughs> it's so good. It's, just, it's, it's just, been really good here. Yeah, it is so good. Um. Yeah, let's draw. Yep. Target this. This one? Yeah, target this. Chain. Do you want me to spoil it? What? Secret tails. Yeah, I'll miss this one, guys. Watch. Tails. Tails. You see me? Go. Oh, there. <laughs> hey, finally. Could have saved it. Thank you. No, but you never know. I would have lost the card. <laughs> yeah, I know. Nice people. Yeah. And? Yeah, got it. Do you have any monsters can attack over this with that on the field? Pass. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Sorry, good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oops. Tails. Heads. Heads. We die! Damn it! I'll set another face down. Go ahead. Oh. G. Go. <sighs> this is so bad. My deck sucks. <laughs> My deck sucks. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Just have to risk it for the biscuit, I guess. Heads. Heads. Oh my god, bro! Bro, but literally, this, like, 
This is this car. It's not fair, man. Literally, literally. I did. This is this is not even a duel. I might as well just scoop. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> All right, I, I'll quit. Oh god, no, that's pretty bad. I'm actually defeated right now, guys. Like, I used to get goat. Yeah. yeah, sure. Oh, I don't have tokens, dude. Kids four. Just don't worry. Yeah, there'll be tokens on the field. Don't worry. Okay. Um, then I'll start a card. Yep. Yeah. Go. Drop. Yep. Any phase one? Yep. Um, blowback effect target level one. Yep. Tails. Heads. Tails. Yes. I love this time, Sam. <sighs> Activate Monster Gate, tributing a token. Sure. Defense, baby. Um, is is Demok what is normal summon or special summon? Yeah. Yeah. Also, exchange. Play that. Sure. And that. And uh, then I'll add back Demok. I don't think so. I think I'd rather just give my thing time to win. Uh, add back. Monster Gate. Sure. You have a token? Sure. Wow. No. Target that? Sure. Can't attack this turn anyway, but heads, tails, tails. Yes. Yes! Alright, uh, your turn, Sam. Mm -hmm. Back target the moment. Heads. Heads. And then a back target. Heads. Heads. <laughs> <laughs> I had Regeki based on anyway, but I think it's fair to say to say this is a I'll blow you out of the water here with this battle face. Attack, attack, attack. <laughs> this was probably so awful for Sam. <laughs> his app is rigged. Konami, you gotta fix his app, man. Blow <laughs> back, baby. Um, I'm gonna need to call some engineers to work on this neuron app to make it more even. Because that was not 50-50. According to my math, that was like a 100% success rate for Jesse. Good luck to Jesse in the finals. <sighs> All right, Gabe. Yes. You ready for this? Zuma. Very ready. First time dueling you? Yes. And, Unfortunately, um, I have to beat you because right. I got to go against Jesse. I got to get you know, a rematch. Just let you guys know I'm the underdog. So if I do win, Gabe, it means something. Like, you're not that good. I mean, I got destroyed last time I was here, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But, like, but who's that? Absolute huh? Milano. Oh, Milano? Sam beat me. The worst duel this year. Well, Milano's at the worst. Well, like, he's like kind of tied with Denzel. So, guys, right now, me and Gabe both have zero wins, but one of us are going to the finals. Yes, sir. And you know what? Whoever wins will be Jesse, though. Yeah, For absolutely. Sure. He's Our up. decks are insane, probably. <laughs> I mean, you saw what his deck did. Yeah, Basically, just nothing. Luck. Just luck. Yeah, all no luck. skill. Yeah. No skill. There's yeah. another world where Sam beats him 10 out of 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> My deck automatically beats his deck, to be I feel bad for Sam, guys. I do too. Sorry, big brother. I'm very sorry. Oh, Kuba! All right, All right. ready? Are you, are you first? All right, let's go. Six. Five. <laughs> it was a six. <laughs> Four. It's a pretty good roll. I'm okay with that. It's a pretty good roll. Four. Ooh. Okay. That's a pretty good roll, too. Three. <sighs> Not that good. Not that good. But you know what? I'm, I feel like a two's coming. Four! Yes! All right. I'm going first. Is that okay? Right. Yep. Good luck. Good luck, Gabe. Let's go. Let's. Um, we're doing six cards to start a turn, right? Yeah. You draw for turn. All right. Come first. Draw. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The ancient of creation. Okay. Venus. Yes. That's what I wanted. I want to open Venus in my opening hand. And the moment I see Venus, I know I got some plays. Effect dealer? No. <laughs> okay. Effect. I'm gonna pay 
1500. Mm -hmm. 1500? Yeah. Get three Mystic Shine Balls from my deck. Mm -hmm. XC Summon for Gachi Gachi. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. It's a pretty good start. Really good start. Not bad, actually. Not it's bad. okay. It's okay. Whatever. Just like a bunch of vanillas. That vanillas. Do yeah. That do nothing. I wish there was XC Summon, you know? Imagine that. That was a play, right? Back in the day, right, Jesse? That was a play, right? I remember. Um, set one. And your turn. All right. Yes, sir. Draw for turn. Your turn, Stand boss. Stand by main. Hmm. <laughs> how are you gonna beat my, how are you gonna beat my? Your giant wall? My wall, yep. I will start by ripping your hand with Del Duo. So I'll pay a thousand to rip one card from your hand and then you pick a card to rip. Delinquent Duo? I cannot be more happier. Now, hopefully, he'll target one of my dark monsters that I can send to the graveyard. And then, of course, I'll pick a light monster. Oh, so, so, how's it work? You randomly pick one? Like, you randomly pick a card? Yeah, I know, I, I just pick one and then you choose one. But you look at my hand. No. Oh, randomly. Random, yeah. All right, good luck. All right. Okay, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> So during the draft, Zoom accidentally blurted out that he got a BLS, and I just discarded a dark monster for Del Duo. That could go really bad for me. <laughs> okay, and then now, now you choose just to this randomly. One. No, you choose. Oh, I pick one. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Well, it's a hard choice. Torrential. Okay. Interesting. Next, I will yep. activate Graceful. Oh, the card I gave you. Yeah, the card you gave. The card me. I gave. I'll draw three, three cards. Discard two. That's that's something. Yep. All right. I will discard Soul Resurrection. Hmm. My call of the hunted. Our call of the hunted. Our call of the hunted. I'll also discard Revival Gem. Does he do anything? Revival Gem does he do anything? Just discarding. Okay. Next, okay. I will summon Revival Gem. Okay. What does he do? Uh. When his card is sent to the graveyard, as wrote about, you can flash time to charge for his defense. This, this must be declared with the monster trip. Okay, 1500. All right. Um, I will enter battle and declare an attack on the Shine Ball. On a Shine Ball? One of my Shine Balls. Hmm. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Next, I will activate Card of Safe Return. Okay, so, oh, this is what Slifer, in the in the show. I did not watch the show. When Slifer, Yugi faced a Slifer guy. He kept drawing cards. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah. All right, Red Hunter, yeah. Then I will set one. And set another, and pass. And face, order to smash. Order of Smash, exactly what I needed to do. Get rid of his card of safe return. So just in case Revival Jam comes back, he doesn't get a plus one. And then of course he has one back roll. I just picked a random one and hopefully it worked out. But that's what I mean. Order to Smash, such a good card. All right. <laughs> it's pretty good, eh? Yeah. It's pretty good. What are you gonna target? I'm gonna target, so I'm gonna, my Shine Ball. Mm -hmm. So I could attribute him. Yeah. And then I could target two. Correct. Spawn Traps. There's a hard one. There's a hard one. Um, I think for sure I should probably get that card of sanctity. So it's a good card. It's a really good card. Yeah. Would you suggest? <laughs> <laughs> it's all you, bro. First target, and then we'll go this guy. This one? Uh, yes, sir. All right. You hit a right Yeki, but it's a good card. It's a very good card. Thank you very much. All right, my turn. Yep. Draw. Okay. I am going to banish and a banish. Jesus Christ. To summon. Yep. Chaos Rush. All right. That's pretty good. Are you calling pirate? Well, I use his effect. Yeah, I am. So I'm going to use effect to banish Revival Jam. I Set will him. activate my trap card skill drain. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So you pay 1,000 life points? Yep. It's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Skill Drain, pretty good card. I think it is, you know, it's tough to go around, but I think I'll be fine with all of my monsters, with my Venus and my Chaos Sorcerer entering the battlefield. And then, um, okay, I'm gonna, I didn't normal summon yet. Normal summon. 
when uh, I know the battle phase. Attack. Sure. So minus 0.04. Attack. I will use its effect, paying 1,000. Because the next standby phase? Yeah. Okay. I have to do it now. Oh, you pay now? Yeah. So minus 0.1,000. Mm -hmm. And then thou attack Venus? Sure. So. You're at 3k, brother. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn. All right, you're out. Roger comes back. Stand by. I will summon this. Defense, oh, yeah, defense. Oh, okay, yeah. summon in defense. Okay. I will... Set one card face down, and I'll pass. You'll pass? Yeah. Draw. Gabe. Yes. Gabe. Gabe. Yes. Gabe. What's up? I'm sorry. I think it's over. I'm ready. I think it's over. I think. All right, let's see it. Unless whatever is in. All right. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. I use order to change. Oh, <laughs> order to charge. I target one non-token monster. This little shine ball. Tribute that normal monster, and if you, do, if you do destroy one monster, your point controls. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna destroy this face down. All right, you hit my prevent rat. Trash. All right! Agent of Venus. And the battle face? Yes. Gabe's game. I'm sorry, attack? All right. I use effect? No. <laughs> That's game. Ah, let's go! Yeah. Good game. Oh my, I had a good hand. Look at I, that. I actually just. Because that was so good, and then he graceful. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah. I think you hitting this was huge. Yeah. Like you yeah, turned on his chaos monster. Yeah. Yeah. I told you guys I can do it. I just beat a national champion. If I could do it, so can you. All right. Finals. Here I come. So Sam got his back blown out today, and I got smashed by a shine ball. Good luck in the finals, Sum. You know what though, it's not a big deal. Kudos to Sum, he played extremely well. His deck was actually pretty good from what I saw. And I'm looking forward to seeing him in the finals. I myself, I'm going to the ultimate loser's duel to clap Sam up. It is going to be a free win. So I will see you there on the Patreon. All right guys, this is my first trip to duel night finals. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit scared going up against Jesse Cotton. I hear from Sam that he's a really good duelist, you know, one of the greats, one of the best. So, you know, I wish, yeah, I would have preferred to face Sam, even though Sam beat me last episode. Sam's an easier matchup and I know how he plays, but you know what? I'm gonna hopefully try my best and beat Jesse. Cause you know what? If I can beat a world champion of Gabe, I can beat a world champ of Jesse. See, I can't believe I'm here in the finals. Congratulations. You know, I'm kind of scared well, once again. Shouldn't but you know what? I destroyed Gabe. national champion, yeah. Yeah, I destroyed Gabe. Uh, Gabe's probably a little sad. But... Uh, <laughs> Who's going to lose, right? So you're allowed to be a little upset when you lose. All right, Jesse. Finals, let's go. All right. Good luck. Good luck, brother. Good okay. luck. So high roll's good? Yep. You first? Sure. sure. Five. Five. That's a pretty good roll. Wow. Yeah, I won't complain. <laughs> Scary. Six! All right. Yo, the luck's on my side today, eh? Yeah. It actually is. Unless, all right, let's go. I'm first. Is that okay, Jesse? I'm of first. Can't do anything about it. All right. Okay. I'm first? Yep. Sure. First move. My angel. The agent of creation, Venus, once again. Sure. Again, I open up Venus in my opening hand. Yes, that's a great start for me. Effect? Sure. Pay 500, 500, 500? Yep. Summon three shine balls for my deck. One, two, and a trois. I love it. You know, her power is she creates stuff. I'm gonna summon on defense mode. And then, um... <sighs> hmm. Thank you. And then, I'm going to set one. Your turn, boss. Drop mm -hmm. a turn. Jesse Cotton. Main phase one? Yes, sir. Mm. Activate reasoning. So this is what I call a uh, level? Yeah. I'm gonna call... There's no downside to it, though, it's just... Well, the downside for me is if you call it correctly, the monster doesn't get summoned. That's it? Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, with reasoning, I gotta call level eight. You know what, his best monster is Dark Magician of Chaos, and I cannot let that get on the field. So I'm calling eight for reasoning. Level eight. Level eight? Jar Greed, Imperial Order, wow. Reasoning, Soul Exchange, Whoa. Confiscation, Torrential Tribute. Whoa! Oh, God damn it. Yes! <laughs> so the, all those spells are gone? Yeah. Oh, wow. So was that a pretty I bad? I have other monsters. Why does this keep happening to me? That was pretty bad, though, I guess, right? The reasoning? Yeah, that's pretty bad. You lost a lot of cards. All right, activate Soul Exchange. Target it in the Venus. Cool. So I'll tribute it, summon the Blowback Dragon. Um, can't attack though, right? They cannot attack this turn because soul, soul change. Yeah. Okay. Activate the fact target face down. Can I read it again? Yep. Can I chain or something? Yes. So, so you, have so, chain now. you have to chain now. You can't wait to see the results. Actually, now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, okay. So, so basically, how it works to him is that he activates effect to target. If you let that, if you let that card go through. Yeah. Right. The effect resolves and it will destroy it. Makes sense. If I, if I get the heads. Close it right. Which I'm not going to. I'm going to use order to charge to chain. Chain order to charge. I will pay 1500 life points for my modest shields and get an effect that would destroy a monster. So, I actually don't have any ways to push past this blowback dragon, so I need to protect it with my body's shield. Not a trade I love doing, but I have to. Oh my god, my body is a shield. That's a pretty good card. Was not expecting that. Okay, so do I tribute as a cost? Uh, it's not a cost, I believe. Okay. But you targeted him, right? Yep. You targeted a spell. So you can't target another monster. Cool. Yes. Target one. Yeah, it's not a class. Cool. Okay, so you pay fifteen hundred. Yes. Oh, my body is shield is uh, it, it, it's like it's like a lance, like a forbidden lance. When you point to the activate spell, a card effects destroy. Destroy one monster. Okay, fair. Cool. Uh, and I cannot attack this turn, so your turn. Two cards in hand. Yep. Draw. Set one. Drop it in. Yep. So I think you just want to dart in the grave. Um, I will main phase one, blowback effect, try to mystical shine ball. Sure. Uh, See, it's two heads. Yes. So where do I go? Tools. Right. Heads. Tails. Heads. Ah. All right, that's I mean, fine. very low stakes. That's fine. Blowback dragon anyways. Yep. I'll declare an attack on this mystical shine ball. Cool. Uh, and my turn. Draw. I'm gonna set one. Then I'm going to flip summon. Sure. Enter battle phase. Sure. Attack. So you take 500 points of damage? Yes, sir. Main phase two? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna banish my Archfiend and my sure. Venus. Yep. I'm gonna special summon. Chaos for sure. Mm -hmm. Effect banish. Sure. Cool. Press that one. Phase one? Mm hmm. So I got this now. Yep. Not past turn. Jesse, it's getting intense. Normal summon Archfiend Soldier. Sure. I'm going to flip from the Reaper. Mm -hmm. And a battle phase. Sure. Attack. Sure. 300. Yes, sir. Effect. You picked Blowback Drag. Bad or good, whatever. Bath attack, 1900. Yep. 23? Yep. Okay. Um, Jesse's got 2000 left. Interesting. And. Your turn. It's your turn. Hmm. It was getting intense. I'm kind of scared. Jar agreed to draw a card? Yep. Oh boy, guys, this game, it's getting really intense. I'm scared. I'm, I'm sweating right now. All right, I'll set three cards face down. Three cards face down? And then my turn. 
All right. Switch to defense. Okay. Yep. Yeah. To battle face, 300. Making. Yep. Activate scapegoat. Four tokens. Cool. Put myself in the game. Um, so I get four tokens on the field. Uh, okay, so I'll redirect my attack from yep. Spirit Reaper to one of the tokens. Sure. So, and then Archfiend Soldier, attack another token. Sounds good. Main phase two, am I able to banish a token? Is that, is that what yes. effect? Yeah. So I'll use the effect to banish token. Sure. Um, next, I'm going to use Thunder Dragon. Sure. And I'm gonna get two Thunder Dragons from my deck. Okay. Oh, he has one more token. On the field. Thank you, Jesse. And... Good turn. All right, drop the turn. And phase one? Yep. I'll activate Monster Gate, tributing the last token. Yep. Let's see if we can hit the Dark Mission of Chaos here. That'd be good. Okay, so here's the plan. We Monster Gate, we hit dimension to, uh, Dark Mission to Chaos, we can add back a Confiscation, we hit the very likely Chaos Monster he has in his hand, and we'll take back the game that way. So controls right. the Bandit, Soul Exchange, and Night Parshath will have to do. It's pretty good. So what does he do when he does damage? Just Piercing, and when he inflicts Spiral Damage, I'll draw one card. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. All right. <clears throat> I'll then activate Raigeki. Wow, big. Raigeki! That card should be banned, man! So good! That's huge. Everything's dead. There's some kills you monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was big, that was good, that was good. Battle phase? <clears throat> I'll declare an attack with the Night Parchef. Take 1900 damage, and I'll draw one card. Wow, that's a good card. Draw one. Parchef drew me dust shoot? <laughs> Same thing for me. Uh, go turn. Draw. In the draw phase, I'll activate the trap dust shoot. Wow. So that means, if you look at my I hand. your hand, and I pick a monster, and I shuffle it back in the deck. Oh, well, I think this is a pretty easy decision for Chaos Force right here. That's pretty good. That's, that's really good. Did you just draw that from the arc? Uh, I will not tell you. <laughs> All right. I guess you know what I'm going to do. You have an idea, at least. I'm going to set one. Set one. Good turn. Draw the turn. Okay. In phase one. Yep. What's off the cops' defense again? 17. Yeah, so onto the battle phase. I'm going to use Break the Break. Yeah. Offense. Yes, sir. Uh, side card. Go ahead. Draw. Flip. Yep. Head of office. Yep. It's back. I'll activate. Hero emerges. <laughs> what? What does that do? So, this is Jaden's card. So Jaden's card, it's card, yeah. IOC for some reason. It's Jaden's card, yeah. The strategy unfolds as predicted. We only have the one card in hand, and he attacks, the hero emerges. That's exactly what I did to mitigate drawing too many monsters. A hero emerges? I swear Jaden uses that card. Does he have like a elemental hero in his hand or something? Like is it Avion? So it when opponent's monster player is an attack, you pick one card in my hand. Okay. If it's a monster, I can summon. It, even if it's not a hero? Nope. All right, then if I guess. If it's not a monster, you have to send to the grave. But I have one card in hand. So would oh. you like to pick my card? I do. Wait, do I have a choice? <laughs> no. You pick from one. <laughs> I guess I'll pick. <laughs> And it was the Dark Magician of Chaos. Oh my goodness. On summon his effect activates, let me add. Wow. You have 5,600 life points left. That's crazy. That's crazy. I can afford to do that, but... So what is it? You grab any spell at your hand. Any spell in my graveyard and add it to my hand. Wow, this, this duel just got interesting. I like it. Oh, that's scapegoat. 
Scapegoat? Ah, oh, Joey's card. So annoying, man. I hate that card. Mm. Play defense. So my turn, right? Still the belt. Um, I just flipped some of this, so I can't switch to defense. Uh, main phase two? Yep. Side one? Return boss? Drop a turn. Battle phase. Yep. Mission of Chaos with a clear attack. 1,000. I'll take it. <clears throat> then I will set a card face down. It's your turn. Draw. Set one. All right. Your turn, Jesse. Draw for turn. Main phase one. Battle phase. Yep. Clan attack at 2800. All right, we're both going to be pretty low here. Scary. 1800 to 2000. Scary. I would like to put you out of the Chaos Number Dragon range, but as Ready? it stands, I cannot do that. No, I will be sending one more card face down. And then I'll call it a turn. Draw. All right. Banish. Banish. Mm -hmm. To summon the famous. Chaos Refer. Defense. And I'm going to use effect. Priority. That's. Um. It's like Jesse has like some genius plan. Like I, <laughs> he's just thinking about like he thinks he thinks, thinks ten moves ahead. That's actually pretty sick. Hmm. Come on, Jesse. Wow. Okay. Um. Still my main. Still my main face. Yeah. Um. No scapegoats down there. Your turn. Draw. Yeah. I don't know what you need to do. Is this duel pretty intense? Yes. Is, I, I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the heat right now, Jesse. It's pretty intense. Yeah. I'm trying to get in your brain right now. You worried, eh? I'm past turn. You're past? Okay. You got 2,000 left, Jesse. Assume you're going to use, you're gonna use um, a scapegoat. I'm going to switch Chaos Roger to attack mode. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enter battle phase. Yep. Attack. Let's get scapegoat. Four more tokens. Yeah. Okay. Um, Are you gonna kill any of them? I'm gonna, of course, I'm going to attack one of the tokens. Sure. So, and I'm gonna set one. And your turn, Jesse. Draw. Jesse. Hmm. Three tokens left. So main phase one. Main phase one. Wait. Monster gate. Should be one of the tokens. Okay. Revealing, revealing Heavy Storm, Spirit Reaper. It's pretty good. Is that in attack mode or it has to be, doesn't matter? Shoes. Put in defense mode. Cool. And you have two tokens left? Yes. Okay. What should be the Spirit Reaper? Yep. For a blowback dragon? Uh, that's a normal summon? Yes. I am going to respond with Boneless Trap Hole. Well, I probably already on something. You just defect, right? So. so you can target? Yeah, I'm going to target the Chaos Sorcerer. Okay. I guess he has Solemn Judgment. But he'll be banished. Response, so. Yeah, it'll be banished either way. All right, let's see. It's huge. Let's go. Tails. 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 Come on, Jesse. Let's go. Tails. Heads. No! That's big. So he's dead, yeah. but he also dead. We're both dead. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. All right. Cards down one. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Activate reasoning. Reasoning? Can you get Yep. Okay, guys, I'll level with you. I only have two monsters in my deck, a Parshath and Dark Mission of Chaos. 
It's a 50-50 based on what he calls, so. That's all on this. Oh my goodness, guys. I am stuck with what to do. I have a solemn judgment face down right now. Do I solemn judgment the reasoning or do I call level eight and hopefully it ends up being a dark magician like chaos and then from there, I'll save my solemn judgment. What do I do, guys? What do I do? There's one all the monsters left. left. One democ left. And a blowback dragon. Blowbacks left. There's no blowback left. Sure. Should be. There's two here. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, three, three, three. So I call. What are the monsters do you have in your deck? I gotta think, Jesse. So if I hit level eight, it's almost guaranteed a demock to not summon. What if I don't call level eight? What are the monsters do you have? <laughs> this is this is tough. Oh, this is a tough one. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm risking it here. Yeah. You're risking it here. All right. Is this main phase one or main phase two? Main phase one. So main phase one. It's by someone a big monster. Wait, just Zero. Zero. I have one. <sighs> this, is, this is scary. This is still the same turn, right? Yep. This is when he balls. Yep. God. What's life? I've got 1800. 18 to 2,000. How many Parshant? I, I don't know what all the monsters Jesse has. That's the tough part. What if it's a Parshant or something? Okay, no more blowbacks. I know that. Does he have any level fours? You know what? I'm doing it. Level eight, Jesse. Show me that Dark Magician of Chaos. It's coming. Let's go. Level eight. Level eight. Level eight. Level eight. Level eight. Level eight. Come on. Level eight. Parshant. <laughs> yes, Parshant. Let's go. Battle phase. Can I use this? Oh my gosh! Just one attack. That's good. Yeah, Jesse, I had a solemn. What, well, what are you what? thinking for? He had no cards in hand. He had nothing. Are you good? No, but with level eight, then I could have saved this. Just it was a 50 50. It's a 50 50. That's what I was thinking. But, I mean, next, it, next draw. If you lost, it doesn't matter. Like, like, what's your background? Torrential snatch. Oh. I wasn't out of the game. I made sure I was like at MSC. I was yeah. I know that's why I wasn't I didn't, didn't snatch. Oh, so I, I, I wanted. To, I was risking for the de mock. This is so bad against my deck. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just like I, just in case. Just, just in yeah. Case. I mean, you don't play for me. I had a book of moon. I had a book of moon. Just, just in case. I had yeah. a book of moon. Whatever. That's a good yeah. game. That's a great game. Sorry, Steven, but it's back with the rightful owner, four-time champion. No! Oh my goodness! I knew it! I knew I should have solemn judgment that reasoning. Why did I? That's what I'm saying. One mistake. Oh my god! I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Guys, that was so fun. You know what? I'm so glad I went to the finals. Unfortunately, I couldn't win today, but I'll win next time. But you know what? Facing Jesse, I can see why he's such a great player. You know, it's an honor to face him in the finals. And you know what? I almost won. You know, I tried, but I, now I can see why he's one of the great, greatest duelists, you know, on this planet. But I'll get him next time. Overall, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed my deck. You know, Venus, Chaos Emperor, BLS. That's my style. And hopefully you guys rocked with it. And you know what? Maybe next time I build a better version of this style. Overall, guys, for for those who haven't checked out any of our duels on Patreon, make sure to go check out the Patreon page where we have behind the scene footage, you know, losers duels, and of course, you, you'll see me facing Sam and Gabe there as well. So of course, go check that out. All right, guys, I'll see you next time on the next duel night. Peace. All right, guys, four-time champion, back on top, happy to be here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the draft we had today. If you're on our Patreon, make sure to go comment on the draft list. Give us some feedback, see what we can do to make it better for you guys. If there are any archetypes that you really want to see, any specific end cards or interactions you're really hoping that we can pull off, we'll try and do it. So make sure to go check out the Patreon as soon as you can. I feel like I say this every week, but you can go see Sam on the Losers match on Patreon, where they're fighting for an even bigger trophy than this. So. Go check that out. And thank you guys for watching so much. All right, well, that was a lot of fun, even if my duel was like five minutes. But I will see you on the Losers Match. I had so much fun today, and I cannot wait to be back. I'm going to study even more. So I will catch you guys next time.
All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, smash that thumbs up button. It'll be absolutely amazing. Right now, I'm about to head to the Ultimate Losers match on Patreon. I'm excited for that because you know why? I get to play a best two out of three against the loser between Sumer and Gabe. I'm excited. I'm not going to be the Ultimate Loser today. I really hope you guys like the draft. A huge props to Jesse for creating such a masterpiece. Guys, stay tuned for more awesome drafts. The draft list will be on Patreon for every single episode. If you guys are interested in helping us build the draft and also seeing what type of decks we have options to when it comes to every single episode. Also guys, be sure to check out the Patreon Ultimate Losers match in the description box below. And guys, for those of you who like the video, who leave comments, who are subscribed to the channel, guys, I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. It goes a long way just for liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. And YouTube just helps push this duo night even more on the algorithm. So guys, I really appreciate you all so much. Comment down below what your favorite part about this episode is. Let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys all. Again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your love and support. I'll see you guys next time on episode 13 of Duo Night. Have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.